Yo, what is up guys, Destroyer here, and today I want to bring you guys a new video, and this video is in Destiny, and today I want to show you guys how to solo the first part of the new 390 Crota's End on any character. My first character I'm going to be running it on is my Hunter, and for the Hunter, you're going to want to have a specific setup. It's really, really easy on the Hunter if you have whatever I'm going to show you. I prefer to use Blade Dancer because not only do you have the Escape Artist, which you do a melee, and you're able to invis, but you also also have the sit down invis which is really nice or you can also use night stalker and use your invis or vanishing smoke for your invis grenade i would not recommend golden gun because it doesn't have any invises but if you do have the don't touch me gauntlets they are absolutely amazing for this just whip them on real quick and basically what they do is every time you get meleeed so you know all the thrall and crota's end Every single time you get meleeed, you will go invisible, which basically just allows you to run through this entire thing really quick and easy. So I'm going to skip until I'm at the bottom. Okay, so now that I'm on the bottom, I'm going to start my run on my hunter by invising, and I just run the path all the way to the very end, then hop on the rock and shoot the ogre. It's a really easy way to solo it on a hunter. If you do have a hunter character, I'd recommend just coming in here every weekly reset and doing it real quick, because it is really, really easy to get through with all of your invises compared to any other classes. But I am going to hop on all the other classes and show you guys how to do it on all of them using their abilities to the best and um, showing what weapons you should use. So I'm just going to speed this up and show my run through. Okay, once you reach the last lantern, you're going to want to run by it real quick to activate it and get rid of some of your weight. Then run on the platform, it will shake your controller a bit and it will start um, like building itself up without you even standing on it. Jump up, get to the edge of the rock, you're going to have a ton of thrall still coming in. This light will normally damage you, but you shouldn't have to worry about too much. You should be just fine if you're standing on the very edge of the rock. And then basically you're, all you got to do from here is kill the ogre that's going to spawn way in back and then you're home free. I'd recommend using a sniper or like a Galahorn to kill this ogre. He is a bit difficult, but not horribly hard. Okay, there he is. He's dead. And now you have 10 way to darkness, so you're not going to want to get off this rock. You'll die pretty quickly to all the thrall around here. And now you just got to wait for the bridge to build and then run across and get your loot. That's a really easy way to do it on the hunter. It's not a hard thing to do if you are a hunter because of all your invises. So let's skip over to my, or I'll run to the end. I'll speed it up right here. Then we'll go to my Titan next. So now I'm on my Titan and I'm not actually going to be able to run through the maze because I forgot I had a Crota checkpoint on this guy and I never did finish Crota. So I won't run through the maze but I'll show you guys the strategy for a Titan to run through the maze. 
I personally think the easiest subclass to use is Striker, mainly because you have Slam as well as the Lightning Grenades. Now, the Lightning um, Grenade, basically what it does is when you throw it down, it'll take out a whole group of all Thrall instantly compared to some of the other ones. It takes a minute to damage them, and it doesn't stun them as much. And then with the Titan, you also, or with Striker, you also have Smash. If you ever get a ton on you, you can just use your Super Smash all of them and get going again. But with the Titan not having any invisibilities, you're definitely going to need a primary that does AoE damage. Now, the best one, in my opinion, would definitely be Fatebringer because you have Firefly, Headshot, and it takes out a ton of thralls around it and explodes around. You hit one thrall and it stuns the rest around it as well as Outlaw just helps you reload really quick. If you don't have this, use something like a Word of Crota or basically anything that does explosive damage that will damage targets around it. Use something like a Zalo. It will chain with between them basically what this will do is since you don't have invises when you stop the light you turn around and shoot them until they explode a bunch and get rid of a lot of them very quickly instead of having them all like if you're using just a normal like scout rifle or a pulse or something they'll all get uh, on you and you won't be able to kill them fast enough compared to something with aoe you will be able to as well as your grenades but with this you're basically just gonna have to run follow the lights and not count on invises and use your sniper at the end to kill the ogre sorry i'm not able to give you guys a run through of how to do it like me actually running it because i have the checkpoint but now on to my warlock Okay, now we are on my Warlock, and I will show you the setup I use. With Warlock, you actually have a lot of different ways you can run this, and I think it's really just down to opinion what you're going to run on it. I personally run Self-Res, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to die on my Warlock class, but a lot of people run Voidwalker, just because you can chuck the massive Void Bomb and take out every single ad there. As well as if you use Stormcaller, you can pop Stormcaller and run through just... Emperor palpatine everything in your way and not really having to worry about anything. So any of the subclasses here really do good if you just want to run through and kill everything, use those two. But if you want to play it more on the safe side, I would recommend using um, the self-res, which is what I like to use because I don't normally count on my supers just in case they're not up. But um, another good thing to use, which I also said on the Titan, is a primary that does AoE. I have two here. I'm using the Fatebringer for an example. But here's another one. If you do have the hand cannon from Trials of Osi or Osiris Year 3, it has explosive rounds and Firefly, which is exactly what you're looking for on any gun to do this. Just something that can do damage to everything around it. And then um, I'm using on slingers so i'm gonna actually switch this over to solar grenades these are the ones that stay on the ground and they will distract everything as well as just start burning the entire all of the hordes behind me and it'll be an easy really easy way to run through and i'm using this is exotic right here which basically when i come back from the dead it disorients every enemy near me so i have a little bit of more time running so let's get right into the run
Well, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Hopefully it has been helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like down below. Subscribe for more Black Ops 3, Destiny, and World of Warcraft. And I will see you guys later. See you guys.